So I've done a bunch of tutorials in the past breaking down how to use different aspects of Liv's free suite of VR creator tools, but it dawned on me. What about those of you out there who may have no idea what Liv is, or maybe like many assume that it's just a mixed reality capture program for Beat Saber people. So then what really is Liv? You can get Liv and all it has to offer completely free on Steam. This includes mixed reality functionality, VTubing solutions, reading chat in VR, first person stabilizer, and much, much more. Let's break it down, shall we? Mixed reality is probably what most people think of when they think of the Live app. If you've ever seen people streaming inside Beat Saber, there's a good chance that it was with Live. Mixed reality basically puts you inside of a VR game using a camera or webcam. You will need to have a green screen setup. It doesn't have to be as fancy as mine. I initially started off with some green sheets. Or you can try out the AI auto background remover and some decent lighting always helps. Not every VR game can have this style of compositing, however. If the game's on Steam, the game's developer would need to add the Live SDK, which is completely free. For Quest Native games, they would need to add Oculus's mixed reality capture capabilities, which Live's Quest solutions will then hook onto. So if there's a game that you want to have Live support, let them know on their social media accounts. I'll post a link of supported games for both Steam and Quest Native in the description below. If you don't want to be your real physical self in VR, whether that's due to lacking space, equipment, or self-esteem, Live also offers an option out there to be represented as an avatar instead. This is a fantastic way for VTubers to get their personas into VR games. Live can use any avatar that is VRM or avatar file formats. Live also supports full body tracking with no limits to the number of trackers, and it supports Vive face trackers if you have one. Liv also uses virtual cameras, so you can make sure you get all the best angles. You can adjust them real time in space, but you also have different sliders to change it based on your preferences. Similarly, as with mixed reality, avatars won't work with every Steam VR games. The developers need to add the Liv SDK in order for it to work. However, don't let that potential limitation stop you. If you don't want your avatar to necessarily be in the game, but are fine with having a transparent overlay over your game, you can totally do that for any Steam VR game as well, with or without SDK. Currently, avatar capabilities are also limited to Steam VR games. However, the team is working on getting avatars in Quest Native games, so keep an eye out in the future for that. I'll post a list of supported games for Steam in the description below. StreamerKit is Liv's solution to reading live stream chat in VR. You can connect either your Twitch or your YouTube account to it, and even have Discord messages sent to you straight inside your headset. There are some other neat integrations, such as being able to see your heart rate and more, but I'll let you discover those on your own. You can customize everything from position to opacity, size, and more. The first person stabilizer smooths sickening head footage, turning it from something like this, taken from the game itself, to this. Unlike mixed reality and avatars, it does not require the developer to add any SDK, so it should work with most Steam VR games as long as they don't use Easy Anti-Cheat or OpenXR. But depending on when you're watching this video, both of these roadblocks may be resolved. You have various options to choose from, such as dominant eye or both eye options, window shape and resolution, roll lock which keeps the horizon level, and of course you can customize the zoom and smoothing to your heart's content. Occasionally, Liv also works on some experimental features. Those of you with me for a while may remember Spaces and Live Mobile. While those aren't officially being worked on at this time, that doesn't mean they won't be returned to one day. One of the experiments is also Watch Mode for Quest Native Games, which eventually will probably be absorbed into Avatars on Quest. Watch Mode basically allows you to play your Quest game in third person sans body, so you're basically just hands or sabers or whatever models the game gives you. And that's hopefully a quick overview of what Liv has to offer for those of you who are looking at getting into creating VR content. There really is something for everyone, and best of all, it's completely free. As a reminder, I do have individual videos on my channel for all of the different features of Live in case you want to get a deeper dive on the functionality of what you're interested in and how to set it up. I'm also looking for VR VTubers and avatar users to chat with for some product research and potential future feedback features and tests. So if that's you, 
shoot me a DM on Twitter or TikTok. I go by Adam Bombardi on both. Or you can email me at hello at adambombardi.com. We would also love to highlight some comments on the Live Twitter. So if you have a story or a comment on how Live has impacted your content, feel free to post it below. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.